All right, what's going on everybody? So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the big PlayStation 4 1.70 update that a lot of people have been waiting for and just going over uh, the new features and options that it comes with. But real quick, I'm just gonna do a quick rundown of the major updates that this uh, new uh, firmware comes with. Uh, so we have automatic pre-download. When you, Whenever you uh, order a, a digital game, uh, it will automatically download for you and there will be a countdown timer letting you know uh, the, at the exact moment that you will be able to play that game. Uh, next is the option to, to disable HDCP ga for games to record gameplay. I'm going to be going through all of this in the PlayStation screen. I'm just going to do a rundown real quick. That's what I'm doing right now. Uh, USB export option for captured gameplay. Uh, live broadcasting in HD. They've improved the quality for live streaming. New share options. Uh, new DualShock 4 uh, options. So you can dim the uh, light on the on the DualShock 4 and everything like that. New friends options, new trophies, trophy support, uh, uh, sorting options, PlayStation 4 store support payment. So now apparently you can use PayPal to make purchases in the PlayStation Store. More uh, PlayStation camera options, uh, voice I believe they mean voice command options, or maybe it's just uh, camera option camera commands. Yeah, it is voice commands. Excuse me. Even though I've looked for an, uh, I, I've looked for a list of these new PlayStation 4 voice commands. I can't exactly find exactly what they are. Uh, new PlayStation Plus icons and music unlimited share options. So let's just go through uh, a few and find a few of these on the PlayStation 4. I'm not going to go through every single thing, but let's check out the big uh, changes. If you go to uh, devices, you will s and go to controllers. There you will see the new option to change the light on the PlayStation uh, on the PlayStation 4 controller, and I'm just and you can see it's not a big difference when I look at my uh, when I look at the light on the controller, but you you can tell. Um, so that's the first thing. Next thing is the big thing about this uh, update, which a lot of people have been waiting for, because now you can uh, record gameplay straight from the PlayStation 4 without having a, a backdoor, such as uh, HDCP stripper or HDCP uh, converter box. Uh, you just go to set system and you'll see enable HDCP. It will be checked by default. You just have to uncheck it. A lot of people will be happy about that. Next is trophy, a uh, small thing, a uh, little trophy option now. If you go to a uh, game and options, you can sort trophies by rarity. So, you know, you'll know, uh, you know, how rare. Yeah, you'll know, like, you know, what trophies you have are, you know, the rarest in that order. Uh, next is share options. So if you click on the share button and you go to options, uh, share settings now and and by the way this is something that I, the share factory and a lot of these recording and stuff like that it's something I'm never gonna use again this is just solely for you know the purpose of reviewing it and showing it to every anybody that wants to watch because obviously I the best way to record gameplay is from a dedicated uh, external um, recording device like a Hapog or a Elgato for example because even though these uh, DVRs in these you know consoles are I would get they can suffice for some people not really for someone like me who's a youtuber who you know needs more than that better quality and all those uh, other you know uh, things that produce better you know videos and such uh, but if you go to video clip settings now um, now I believe what they've added is length of video clip apparently this was not there before I wouldn't know because I never used it uh, obviously as the reasons I stated before but now you can select uh, the length of video that you want um, the PlayStation 4 DVR uh, to record when you double tap the uh, share button because I believe automatically by default before it would it would record 15 minutes unless you stopped it manually alright so now let's talk about let's get right into the share factory which is the other big thing the PlayStation 4 <coughs> video editing um, software now I have to say I've checked this out and it's a pretty it surprised me it's a pretty robust uh, video editing software it comes with the uh, I would, what I would say it's on par with uh, I would say a little bit of 
a little bit average, you know, a little bit maybe above average video editing software. So it's a little bit, you know, it's on par with, with the good ones, the decent ones. It has all the features and functions that you would need uh, to produce a decent video uh, from a video editing software. So I was surprised. It's pretty robust. You can tell they got their Sony Vegas personnel to come and help them with this one. So let's just go over these real quick. Um, these are just some default videos that they put in there. And you have to download the Share Factory. Um, it doesn't. It's not just there. As soon as the update finishes, you have to download it. It's really quick, though. Uh, you can, you know, select, put these in most recent alphabetical order. Um, and like I said, these videos are here by default. These three, I have some videos in here that uh, I just recorded for the sake of showing this video. So I have some Metal Gear Solid, Infamous Second Son, and Killzone Shadowfall. As you can see, you can. They have different sorting options. Um, and right now what we're going to do is just select one video as you can go you can go in full screen by pressing L2 and you can select different videos because you can edit different videos together so you can select all three and edit them together right now what I'm going to do is just uh, select Metal Gear you can rename the project if you want I'm not going to do that just going to click continue just to show you the different features and by by default I believe um, they just put a Wait, where the heck is Metal Gear? This is not Metal Gear. Go back. This is not Metal Gear. New project. Okay, I didn't select it. I, yeah, I, I... My bad. I didn't select it. Okay, let me... Uh, Can I delete this from here? Uh, d uh, whatever. Okay, let's just select this. Start project. Continue. Alright. So... Let's check out some of the features and functions that this video editing software uh, can do. If you hit X from here, you can add you can add another clip from um, you know your uh, listed videos that you've recorded. You can add special effects. Um, and like I said, it really surprised me the amount of things and, and the amount of content this has. It, it really surprised me. You can add text, stickers, theme stickers filters layouts like they they shocked me i thought this was going to be very bare bones um you can add commentary you know use your headset or your playstation 4 camera you can add music they should have the guile theme on here uh guile theme goes with everything uh so what else we got so you can press r2 to play It actually fits this. Uh, you can use the PlayStation 4 touchpad on the controller to kind of move back and forth really fast on the timeline. Um, you can also use the right analog stick for that. You can use the directional buttons to kind of go just frame for frame really slowly or use the L1 and R1 buttons to go from beginning uh, to, to skip from clip to clip. Um, okay. Uh, also, if you hit square, now you can see the different functions that you would need for editing a video, split clip, trim clip, move clip, uh, change the, the actual clip's volume, uh, edit the effect that you put in there. Uh, let me go back and let me, let me just add an effect. No, let me just, uh, just add a theme sticker, I guess. <clears throat> oh, sure, let's put that in there. Oh, yeah, and you can um, transform it by putting it where you want opacity that's just like transparency you can make it very uh you pretty much make it invisible like I, I like i said i'm just really surprised that they have this here i didn't expect this i expected something very bare bones and basic uh okay um you can edit fx but i'm gonna leave that alone uh edit edit commentary and you know the square button is basically the edit feature um what else we got? Uh, we can play this role. <coughs> okay. Uh, uh, let's see. What else we did, did? I I think that's basically everything. You know, I might not get to every single thing, but this is just to give y'all a good idea. Um, now what I'm gonna do is go back. Uh, exit without saving and new project and I want to edit I want to put these clips together render them 
uh, export them on my USB drive, and then upload it to YouTube, maybe possibly either in this video or um, in another video because I want to upload it raw to YouTube and obviously I can't upload it raw to YouTube uh, when I'm going to be rendering this video you know I want to see the actual raw quality I'm not even sure what resolution this thing is going to render in so it, I'll see what I do but uh, just to select all three of these um, so, uh, continue and it should put all three of those clips together Wait, go back. Exit without saving. Oh boy. New project. I think one of the, yeah, these were selected. Let me unselect these. Start project and it's going to put all of those together. <laughs> you can even add transitions, but wait, hold on. Let me see. I didn't even add that transition. I think the game did that. Let me see. Yeah, I think the game is doing th does that automatic transition for you, uh, but you can change that transition if you want. So I'm just going to click options and uh, show the save project saved and options again. Let's render it. All right, so the rendering has finished, and as you can see there, it says your movie has been saved to your capture gal gallery. Press the share button if you wish to share your movie. So you actually have to go uh, to the capture gallery if you. Um, want to hold on one second. Let's see where, where, uh, yeah, I believe this is it right here. You have to go here to your captured videos and this. This is the footage from it. Um, so, want to export it now. Hold on, where is that? Where the heck is the export button? I've seen it, but I'm not seeing it right here. Let me exit out of here first. Close this application. Capture gallery. Video clips. Options. Okay, there it is. Copy to USB storage device. Uh, hold on. Let me just plug mine in. Because this is what you have to do, unfortunately, because the PlayStation still does not uh, upload straight straight to YouTube. Okay, I definitely just plugged in my portable hard drive, but it doesn't seem to be picking that up for some reason. It is not reading that for some reason, so let's try a flash drive if I can find one. <coughs> okay. And now it's working. All right, so it just finished, and now I'm going to uh, upload it to YouTube, and we'll see how it looks. All right, so now this is the video after I exported it from the PlayStation 4 onto my USB flash drive, put it in my computer, put it in Sony Vegas. I didn't make any enhancements to it at all. This is pretty, the only th in enhancements, and you, it won't even really be an enhancement. It will be virtually, uh, you know, the raw video. Um, except it's being rendered with this video, but I didn't make any like enhancements that I usually do to my 
videos like maybe add a little sharpness uh, a little color saturation and speaking of that yeah the raw uh, form of the video it is the video quality is pretty decent but it it does look washed out compared to like if I recorded with my Elgato even if I didn't add like uh, color saturation or uh, you know sharpness or anything like that by default my video recording with the Elgato is much better as should be expected um, the video quality uh, from the DVR is it, it, surprising me it, I, I I uh, expected it to look a little bit more pixelated by the way some details on it on the actual file uh, it turned it it was uh, 1280 by 720p so it was a 1280p file uh, it was 198 megabytes so it's a pretty small file and it was an mp4 format so that's what you're gonna expect when you export these things It's gonna be mp4 you can expect a relatively low uh, file size I would say decent quality this could suffice for someone who's not like a I guess a dedicated youtuber or anything like that um, and it will be in 720p so yeah this is what you can um, expect uh, let me see am I missing anything I think that's all I got to say about it it's it's decent like all around it's a pretty decent video uh, editor the whole 1.70 update is a pretty good update um, this can definitely suffice from, for someone who doesn't you know want to go through the whole thing of having a video uh, editing software and you know buying a uh, external capture card and everything like that it can suffice it, 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 it honestly can and like I said it really surprised me so that's it if I missed anything let me know what y'all uh, let me know and let me know what y'all think about all this alright I'm out of here peace Sword is out. 